Hey guys, what's happening? It's Monday morning, actually it's afternoon at this point, and I uh, wanted to do this quick video uh, for my buddy Greg Snow Crusher. I was talking to him last night on the Mumble about uh, this dirt bike I have here. It's, a, uh, well, it's an 86 Honda XR250R, um, and the motor that's in it is an 88 XR250 engine. And uh, I've been having some issues, uh, fuel related, I believe. And uh, basically, these bikes, I've never met one that was a two kick bike. Um, I've had it to where uh, when it's hot, it's a one kick bike. But uh, basically, uh, we were talking, I was having some issues, I believe, with carburetor jetting. Because the pipe that's on this is not a stock pipe, it's a stock Honda pipe, but it's not for a 250. It's a, the pipe, uh, header pipe is stock, but it's made it up to a uh, 450 XR pipe from a similar vintage, maybe a little bit later. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and what I'm trying to do, uh, it was really uh, fighting me the other day getting it started at all, even after having it real warm here in the shop. So what I did, um, I overhauled the carburetor because it had some old fuel in it and I uh, had a brand new stock jetting kit for it and uh, cleaned it, soaked it, scrubbed it, ran wires and compressed air through all the orifices. I'm confident that they're clean. Um, I mean, I've run into carburetors before that just won't come clean for whatever reason, but uh, this one ran before and uh, the story leading up to this, um, I did not have this engine in this particular frame. I had another bike that had been cobbled together that I bought, but it had a, this motor was running good, and uh, I put it in this frame um, without that exhaust hooked up to it, and I decided I wanted to, to add that to it. So uh, I ran it for a little bit with the stock exhaust on it, and it was okay, and uh, then I put this exhaust on it, and I took it for about two laps around the shop and the uh, the cam broke, snapped right off the end. So I redid the cam and timing chain in it, checked all the valve clearances, put it back together and it ran okay but it always had this like uh, quarter throttle um, bog in it and as I would increase the throttle it would just fall off to the point where it would just die. Um, and it never smelled like it was running rich to me. So I thought, well, maybe part of the problem was that uh, these bikes run on the idle circuit for quite a while until you really get the throttle opened up and the needle picks up out of the main jet area. So we were talking about it last night and I basically have gone through the whole thing again and checked it out and uh, enriched the uh, screw on the pilot jet and backed it out. And uh, at this point, I've got it to run, and uh, another funny story comes into play. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of fuel in the tank, and I was sitting here tinkering with that screw, and it's starting to run erratic, and I uh, didn't realize, but um, for whatever reason, the main pickup tube, the higher up end of the tube, uh, wasn't free. So it would run on reserve, but it wouldn't run on that, so I took that out, and um, when I cleaned the tank before, I just sloshed it and took an inspection mirror in there and peeked around and made sure that, you know, everything was cool. And it was, it looked clean, it just, there must have been a piece of something obstructing it. So I cleaned all that out, but now I'm going to fire it up and uh, I'm going to get it just past that spot. And uh, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or if it'll just echo real bad in here or not. But uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. And I can get a little bit of smoke out of the pipe, but it just starts missing real bad. And I picked up the picked up the needle in the main jet, and I picked it up one notch, and it didn't seem to really make any difference. And I picked it up a second notch, and it really didn't seem to get any better. So the bike will idle uh, erratic at times, but I've got the uh, the pilot air screw or mixture screw turned out quite a bit past uh, the stock, which is like two and a quarter turns or something. So let's see if this thing will make an ass out of me and not start it. So we'll go for the easy full choke here.
don't know how good the audio will be with that, but uh, it's uh, I'm just trying to make an executive decision whether I'm going to try and jet the main jet up and maybe step the pilot jet up one size. Um, I seem to got it to work, get it to where I can start it, um, but I'm thinking with this bigger fat pipe on here that it's uh, it's the pipe I want to run, and it was on this frame when I got it, and I'm halfway wondering if the uh, the person who had that bike, this this frame actually had a blown up motor in it. I'm wondering if the bike was running so lean it grenaded the motor. So. Uh, I'm sure that's possible. So what I'd like to do is uh, just uh, throw some feelers out there and see if you think that might be the direction I need to go. It's still a fussy starter, but these bikes kind of always are. Um, I'd like to make it a little bit better. And uh, I've got the idle air mixture screw way open, like probably uh, a turn from falling out. Um, and I really don't want to run it that far open, so I'm thinking since these engines or carburetors run on that primary circuit or the pilot circuit of the carburetor for a long time, I mean, you, you heard how fast the motor was running and then I started to open it more and it just started to fall on its face, um, making a lot of popping and farting. It wasn't smooth. It didn't bog. It just, like somebody turned the fuel off to it. it at least that's what it sounds like to me. So. Uh, at any rate, anybody chime in on this. Um, it's just a quick little project. I'm waiting until the end of the week to get on the uh, on the power stroke and pull that tank out. I started this dirt bike project uh, Saturday because I was bored and it was really cold and I didn't want to do anything outside. But uh, it's just a quick walk around of it. it it's a basher bike. Um, I probably have, I think I paid hmm. 200 and something for the original bike and had to drive a hundred miles to go get it and then uh, my buddy picked up this frame along with another one with a um, good motor in it on uh, Craigslist for like three or four hundred bucks so I've got parts galore and uh, I swapped some stuff over for him and uh, he paid me with this frame because it was white somebody had rattle canned the crap out of the other one and I, I like things kind of as original as possible but uh I mean, it's pretty much bone stock except for that muffler, and it's got a uni air filter in it, but um, all new valve uh, rockers and uh, new cam and timing chain. Um, the valves were beautiful in it, so I didn't even mess with them. Yeah, it makes good compression, too. But uh, here's the kind of day we got outside. It's not horrible, but it sure as hell ain't great. We got both the trailers set out here waiting for uh, the owner to come uh, pick these bad boys up. He's my neighbor, so it's not like he's got to come far and they're really not in my way, but I called him this morning to see if he wanted to put some uh, new LED lights in it because I haven't put any of the lights back in. You can see the hole down there and the stop and turn signal hole there. Like a piece of, looked like paintbrush, but I didn't brush paint them. <laughs> But yeah, sorry, I was showing you the ground there. Here's the one I just did. I don't know why I keep going over showing you guys this stuff. There ain't nothing else going on, though. It's supposed to maybe snow tonight or tomorrow morning real quick. Nothing too crazy. I'm talking about maybe a half an inch or an inch of wet snow. It's supposed to be 35 tomorrow. So we'll see. But... Uh, We'll catch you guys on the next one. That's about it for today.